Well, good morning. You probably can't see me. Um, them lights that you see are the boat dock lit up and people starting to come. We could hear like engines rolling across the lake. So people are starting to show up for the derby. So once it gets a little bit lighter, I'll be back with some footage and we'll see what we can get today. Hopefully we can win the derby. So we'll see you guys in a bit. The best part of waking up is Kenny's coffee in your cup. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah! Woo! All right, you see those, all those lights straight across. It's like a train of people coming onto the lake. And it's only, what, 4.30, quarter to 5? Yeah. And I ain't set my traps up yet. Can you shine up? Look at me. Thank you. All right, so now that we have some light, I have not set any traps in yet because it's still dark. Um, I'm gonna wait till I can see a little better. So. Cause he's scared of the dark. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> but no, we're just getting some coffee. We're getting everything ready. Just went and drilled out the holes, cleaned them out. So they're all ready to go. And we'll get some traps in here momentarily. Hopefully we can win a derby today. So see you guys in a little bit. All these lights that you're seeing, all those little dots of light are all people on the lake. It just randomly all of a sudden popped up tons of people. This is awesome. All you hear is snowmobiles and engines and augers. People are fishing. And it's time for me to get ready. All right, we're gonna get all the traps in. It's still a little bit dark, so it's hard um, for me to have the camera running and do my traps so you can see. Um, so I'm gonna get all my traps in um, and then I'll show you once the light comes up what we got going on. So this is hole number one. So let's get a trap in and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Uh, the lake is completely filled up with people. So as soon as the light comes out, I can show you that too. So we'll see you guys in a second. I'm gonna get these in. Uh, bear with me. This is Aaron. He's from the outdoors. Yeah, and if you didn't know that, you do now. I'm Aaron. <laughs> He's putting his line in. Yeah, I don't want to go down. Bottom already. Oh. Here's Nick. Hi everyone. We are here at the Meso Derby. There's people everywhere. Camera doesn't do it justice, but it's a lot of people. I bet there's a hundred people here already. I bet. Well, you can see the slides and everything for miles. Yeah. All right. As the tip up goes there, it's like a soap opera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you hear the train a coming. Last night we were in the shacks and it sounded like it was coming across the ice because it goes right by here. And you know, you're starting to be able to see all the people out here, all around us. Some people over there. These guys. Hi. 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 Hello. Are you outdoors with Aaron? Oh my God! No, 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 there. Hi. <laughs> I don't know what to do with celebrity. The celebrities. Do you here. want a, <laughs> Do you want an autograph? Well, too bad. Can you sign this for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I already got a signature there. When it's soft, it says way. <laughs> Can't take them anywhere. It says welcome to Burnham. Have a nice day. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> What's, why does it smell like Play-Doh out here? Probably my slab. Did you smell it? It smells like, smell like Play-Doh? Play-Doh? I think he farted. Yeah, Bill? the wind blowing up his pant leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just going to wait for the sun to come up. gonna be going right by us. This is what we heard last night and it sounded like it was coming right through the shack. Blow the horn so you can see it. <laughs> there you go. Hey, there it is. Oh, I can there see it. Is. Oh. <laughs> so it's going to be a good derby day. And if anybody's out here at this derby today and sees this video, I hope you had a good day. And we are fishing. The no flags yet. Should be a scoop in there. All right. All right. Fish are right. Sess trap number one. Number one. And the TOS. Yeah. Number one. Number one. And there are some people out here everywhere. Some people are wanting to win some big prizes today. So right here, that's probably maybe 10 feet. Well, good, because I ain't going down far. Well, right below the ice, you might catch a trout. Yep, I'll go down just a little ways on this bad boy. On to the next. And Seth's got hole number two. His other one's right over there. This is going to be hole number two. So we're going to get this one in and get the rest of them in wherever he's putting them. And then I'll show you guys when he gets a flag. Um, yeah. See you in a bit. All right. So he's got traps over here. 
There's Nichols's traps straight out. And then Kenny's mine over there. And then Seth's got a diamond of the traps over there. And there are people everywhere. It's going to be a great derby. Hopefully we start getting some flags. All right, it's a waiting game now. See you guys in a bit. Seth's got the first flag. We just got done setting up his traps. And Nicholas said yesterday that today Seth will have the first flag. It's off to the side. Here's Seth winning the derby already. I'm not feeling nothing. Date flag. Uh, oh, this might be the one with a sucker. Oh. Looks like something hit it. Yeah. Well, first flag, no fish. We'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, first flags. All right, Kenny is setting up a jaw jacker. So I did bring my jaw jacker, but. Can't make me look gay. Pretty sure we better right there. Oh, look at that bait. So Kenny is setting up a jaw jacker. My camera's saying no battery, but it's working. Maybe it's working. Never know. It's working. I can see it on the screen. Right, but is it like processing and recording? And... It says it is. We'll find out, won't we? Check. Oh, and this ain't a jaw jacker. This is an HT Striker Pro. Because you know Kenny, he's always got to have the top of the line merchandise. <laughs> and be different. Um, yeah, he needs to be different. What's the name of that movie? You see the side of that chicken? That's Young Guns. Young Guns. Hey, dog! Yeah. Did you see the size of that chicken? Seth's so well, got a flag and we're stuck in the ice shack. Let me out! Get your chairs in. Oh, yeah. That'd be a good idea. Because we're packing up today. Well, anyway. All right, folks. Seth's so got a flag again. Let it take it. What are these? Up to the side? I don't think so. Make sure you set it. I'm not feeling anything. Bait flag. That's what I'm thinking, number two. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, that's that sucker. Uh, so that means, so, is it dead? Yeah, I stepped on it. That means something hit it. Yeah, if it's dead. I don't Yeah, this is the one you stepped on. The blood right there. So if it's dead, and something, that means something hit it, like Nicholas said. Well, it is what it is. I got a flag, but I don't know. <clears throat> Straight down. We'll see. Yeah, I, I have something on there. Who is strapped, Nick? Put that. Feels heavy, but I don't know. Do you I, have a good bait? Yeah, but, yeah. I don't think there's anything there. Nope. Nothing. Just my bait. You got a good bait. Something hit. hit it. Something hit it pretty good. All right, back down the hole. Well, here's what it is. They're toying with us. We'll get them. See you in a bit. All right, so Seth's got another flag. Hopefully he's a fish this time. It's off to the side a little bit. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's off to the side. Yeah. 
Anything? Not seeing them Might have ran with it. Like most definitely ran with it. Pull it faster. You know what I mean? Like, Ran off of the bait, probably. Yeah, he took it a mile. Yeah. We still, still get the bait. Still kicking? Yeah, maybe that little fucker's Oh, uh, maybe the bait set off the flag and it just ran, was swimming away with your line. Well, should I knock him out? <laughs> I guess it's up to you. All right. So just another random update of the lake. You can see all the shacks, people. <laughs> Coffee and a sunrise. I need to get my glasses. What? There's going to be flags going off soon. I feel it coming. Yeah, we need fish on the ice. Keep getting bait flags and things hit it and take off. So, but we got time. Got another flag. It's not moving. Straight down. I think it's just my bait. Yeah, just my bait. Damn. They get some healthy bait. Yeah. Mm hmm. Just make sure I can feel it on there, but. Should have just waited. I'm going to start waiting a little bit longer. Oh, yeah. So lively? Yep. Yeah, that's a big sucker. Well, guess what? Now he's a big sucker smush. Schmucker? Schmucker. Is that called Schmucker? Yeah, Schmucker. Schmucker. Well, we'll see you at the next one. See ya. All right, time for some food. We are making some deer steak. I'm pretty sure it's backstrap, I think. Yep, yeah, deer backstrap. We are watching the flags. Kenny's cut. Oh, Ooh. Pretty good play. Yeah. yeah. Out ten. ten out of ten for sure. So as soon as that's done, we'll take a bite. That would be delicious. When you cook deer steak ice fishing, it don't last very long. Perfect. Cheers. Cheers to the deers. <laughs> Woo, let's catch a fish. Mm, so good. We got a new guy pull up over here. People all over the lake. Mmm. We cook our deer steak, a um, little bit of butter, salt and pepper, the only way to do it. And Seth is making a gyro. I'm making eggs, man. <laughs> that was my dinner. Oh, you're going to make like an omelet? Uh, no. Fucking tortilla. Mmm. Oh, it's a McDonald's burrito. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing a wrap. And you know, like day when I was chilling in Kentucky fried chicken, mind my business here, <laughs> finger licking. <laughs> this dude walks in looking strange and kind of funny. Went up to the front with a menu in his money. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't walk straight, kind of side to side. He asked this old lady, hey, you, um, is this Kentucky fried? <laughs> the lady said oh, yes, oh, smiled, and he smiled oh, back. Oh, Gave oh, a quarter for his order. Oh, Small oh, fry, Big Mac, you oh, be <laughs> <laughs> Boom, boom. I think it did its initial let go, you know? Stupid ice, get out of my vision. I watched that a lot too. It's off to the side. I'm going to let it sit a minute. It's 
going straight down now. There it goes. Yeah, he's, oh yeah, it's running with it now. Taking it now. No, I just have it for a minute. That could be a pike. That's no why I mean, I'm, I'm no gonna waste it. it. This is a dirt, dirt, dirt tournament. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Mama, mama, mama said. Every day he's like this. Think he's chewing on it? Come on, big old pike. This is the same hole you caught the pike yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yep. Went straight down. Still moving? No, it just went straight down. And he might have took and came back towards it. Nothing on it. Oh, damn. You waited too long? Bait still kicking. Looks like it tore it a little bit. Yeah. So something did hit it, just didn't need it. Should have waited longer, maybe. Do you know what? Remember how they. they Is it landed? No. Flying by. No takey? Just leave it for a minute. Straight down. Yeah, it's so, a little, little off to the side. Yeah, I would just wait. The song worked though. Yep. It has a pretty good record. <clears throat> Oh, I guess at this point it's up to you. No, he's just staring at it. He killed it, now he's just staring at it. He killed it, that's why it's going straight down. That ladder hit and run. People are still coming in. Nothing? Nah, I don't feel anything. Man. Hit and run. Alright, Aaron's got one on. As you can see, it's going. There it goes again. Wait till it's on. Oh, there it goes. He's definitely taking it this time. Big one? I got him. He's got him, whatever oh, it is. I think he just came right off. Nope, oh. maybe not. It probably came with you. Yeah, I still got it. Does it feel like a log? Yeah. Sweet. No, no, I think it just unhooked. Sometimes they can swim right towards you. No, I think it unhooked. Damn it! Yeah. Uh, bummer. I had one they unhooked. Missing those? All nope, right, we'll nope, see ya. All. all right, so they've updated the leaderboards. Um, when I get back to the shack, I will read that, some of them off to you. Um, but the latest one is 13 pound pike is leading the for the big pike. Uh, and there's a splake, I think, and a bunch of uh, little pan fish. So we'll see what happens. Right now, I think it's like 10 o'clock. 
and it goes until 3 3 30 so and right now we're just uh, adjusting heights breaking the ice so we'll see you in a little bit hopefully we catch a fish we've had a bunch of flags and I had a fish on and it came off got some of the breaks um, so we'll keep going so see you guys in a little bit Nicole's got a fish! It's right over. I can't keep him. No. I was joking. Well, I'm gonna get it just on camera here. Do I put him back? Yeah, he's freezing. Yeah, put him in there. You can touch him? Yeah. No. Oh, you can't? I'd push him in. They bite. He might be too cold. No, no. Go. 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 And there he goes. I pulled it up and it looked like a, a snake. Off. <laughs> so how was it catching a mud puppy? I don't know. <laughs> it was weird. I didn't know what it was. I was like, all right, it got, it has legs and it's in the Kinda water. Looks like a cross between. I've been wanting to catch one on my channel, and we fi somebody finally caught one, so I could put it on video. That's awesome. I had no idea what it was. I was like, sweet. It's an alien. <laughs> it's yeah, the first thing alien. I thought. Cool. We're having a good time. We're just. Waiting to catch something. He just caught that, so that was cool. But see you in a bit. Nichols just caught another mud puppy over there. The mud puppy king. That's your new title, mud puppy. Dude, this ice is going down. <laughs> <laughs> We're going under. <laughs> right, there, right, right where I'm standing is cracking under my feet. Cool. There's 12 inches out there and <laughs> one inch there. <laughs> He's a daredevil. All right, folks. So it is 10:24. Right now, the biggest pike is Brett Barrett, 16.35. Uh, then we got Luke White with a 13.40. And then Corey looks like Blanchard, 784. And then we got a Caleb Turcotte, uh with a cold water fish, 1.85. And then a Josh Hall with a 0.88. And on the children's side, there is, I can't read the name, it's too small, but he's got a three pound pike. And then there's some panfish, Ethan Ellis with a 0.48 and Carter Sousey with a 0.26 so that's what's going on right now we still got some time left we're gonna keep fishing on and hopefully we can catch one so we'll see you guys in a bit So right over past our traps, the next door neighbor has a flag. I yelled flag, but nobody heard me. So when they run to their flag, we'll uh, turn the camera back on, see if they pull a fish out. And they realized they, oh, I'm recording myself. They realized they had a flag. Uh, 
I tried to haul her to you. <laughs> Well, they found their flag. Took their bait. All right, so now we're just adjusting them. That last trap right back there, uh, something ate the head right off in it. And then I was putting it back down and something hit it again and stole my bait completely. <laughs> so I put a china on it. And now I'm just going to check these ones. I thought Seth was checking his traps and he was just lifting them off, setting them back there. <laughs> yeah, it's still there. Somebody else is fishing to come over and tell you your flag's up. He rode over to me and said, That neighbor didn't even bother to tell us how my flag was up. And that's his responsibility, how? Where were they from? I mean, where did oh, they that, come from? That middle group over there. Oh. And he has a file over there. Wow. Some people. A real fish. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes if you look like past your sunglasses, it's so bright. It is. Because your eyes just adjust to the sunglasses. Mm. It's very observant. It is. You didn't know that. And we're at the end of my line. That looks like a So we're getting ready to pick up. Haven't had a flag in hours. And then Seth's flag popped. Hopefully we get a fish that we can bring up and weigh out. Because it's been hours since we've had a flag. Got it? 
Mud puppy. Mud puppy. Oh, that's mine. Oh. See you later, good little guy. And that was that. And now we're going to start picking up because we got to get up there uh, for the announcing of the fish here in a little bit. Head right off. Yeah, it did the same thing to me too. That must have been a mud puppy I had earlier. All right, we'll see you in a bit. And these are the fish from the derby. Sweet. Yesterday. Yesterday. He caught a seven pounder yesterday. Oh wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Nice. And we're at the lodge. He really does. Dave, Dave does your stove. Oh yeah? Both packs. Not open. You know? Not too bad. All right, we'll see you in a minute. All right, so I guess Kenny won something at the raffle. So we'll see what it is. I'm back. You're back. I'm Blake Hunt. I won one of the raffle items. I just got a phone call. Perfect. So you. What did he win? What did Let's he win? See, what did you win? You won one of the lime the, uh, uh Main Pro Series, uh, and, uh, protectors, and Mommy, can I go spread it in my <laughs> Good nice. Thank you, thank you. I know. That's the only way you're going to cra congratulate me today. My fish weren't big enough because it was this big. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Nice, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's our stuff. All right, thank Good you. Good luck with it. <laughs> well, let me get that right on video. Here. It's going to go right on YouTube. Right on. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. This is main pro series. That's you? Yes, it is. Yeah. Cool. All right. We're in Indian Hill and Ordets and up in uh, Stags and Auburn there and a lot of a lot of shops around the state. Very nice. Yeah. They, uh, we have uh, some buddies that make some fishing lures too. They call yeah. them fish whistles. Oh yeah. yeah, I think I saw some in a giveaway over there. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll have to take uh, a look. There was one of the prizes cool. over there. I think they brought some in. Yeah. All right. All right. So we're waiting for final weigh-in, and then I'll be up to read off all the fish. So, yeah. You're gonna do it in here, I hope. I have no idea. They'll tell us, I guess. So we'll see you in a bit. Uh, no, listen. <laughs> so we had a really good turnout. We enjoyed all the time that we had with you, with you guys. We hope you guys come back next year. All of them. Um, all of them. What? All of them. Trying. Um, we really appreciate all your guys' support. Um, so the uh, so the winners of today's derby, if they give consent, their picture and, of them, and um, I'd like to get a picture of you guys with your fish because we can submit that to a gentleman who lives in Connecticut who writes for the northeastern uh, or catches in the northeastern U.S. So he does he compiles all these pictures throughout the year of fishermen doing fishing derbies, whether it's cold water or during the summer. Um, so don't leave until we've taken a picture of you with your fish and your big chat. Um, but uh, this is Aaron Quintel. He's going to talk a little bit about himself, and then we're going to present the checks. All right. Well, how's everybody doing? Um, I, I do an outdoor channel on YouTube. Uh, outdoors is Aaron. I know some of you might have seen it. Um, I do treasure hunting and fishing and hunting. And uh, during the hunting season, me and Kenny and my son, we cut up deer at Kenny's Cuts in Palmyra. Um, <laughs> we do a lot of stuff. Um, I, I, I do a lot of collabs with other metal detectors and stuff around the state. We metal detect rivers and um, found a lot of great artifacts and stuff like that. Um, 
I got a message one day from her asking if I was interested in reading off the big fish, which I was planning on going to a fishing derby in Heartland, um, but we ended up coming here instead. So I hope everybody had a great day and caught some fish. I if anybody would like a sticker, these guys have stickers. You can grab one if you want one. Okay, so we're going to do the youth checks first. Um, so we're going to do biggest pike. And that is, the winner is Camden Ashland. Yeah. So Camden here. Yeah. And is Camden here? Camden Ashland. Okay. So the next one we got is Lucas Ashland. So they won the second biggest pipe for the youth category. for Biggest Pike for you, um, Parker Collins. Yeah. Yeah. And Parker was also a winner of the Spin and Tip Trap. So you made out big today, buddy. Nice. And I'm gonna need to get um, mailing addresses as well so that the checks can be mailed to you guys. So don't leave uh, we've got Rusty Big U. They won the um, biggest uh, cold water fish. And second place, we have Grady Gamage. Thank you, good job, man. Okay, 
Okay, so the first place winner for the largest pint with a $1,200 check is Robert Nason. Mm. I believe that was a 19 pound pint. Second place is Noah Cummings. It's a $600 check for a second biggest pike. Good job. And Way to go, Noah. Third place pike. We've got $300 for Brett Barrett. Good job, Brett. Thank you. Thank you. So again, we really enjoyed the day with you guys today. It went really well. We enjoy any feedback that you guys have about the Derby. Um, we've got the 50-50. Has everybody bought their 50-50 tickets? Anybody want any? Waiting for the 50 50 raffle. Oh. Hey, no problem. Oh, right if I record your fish? I don't care. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice fish. Thank you. All right, we'll see you in a second. We'll see if Seth or Dave win the raffle. Mm -hmm. Pick the 50 50 raffle. Just call the name and we'll. All it says is Kevin. Kevin. The phone number? Kevin. Yep. Uh, 207 <laughs> Okay, so they're searching for the raffle winner because they only put Kevin on his tag. So. We're waiting, we'll see. Grilled cheese. Oh. Yeah. All right, so that's the end of it. Um, it's a pretty fun day. Um, I'm very appreciative I got to be part of it and help pass it out and shake all those people, the winner's hands. Um, some of them weren't around, I guess. So they're gonna call them and get a hold of them that way. Uh, Seth and Dave didn't win the 50-50 raffle. No, it was, uh, I believe you, Eric. It was Kevin with uh, no last name. Um, other than that, it was a great time. I suggest that if you didn't fish the Mescalonsky Derby this year, that next year you try it out. Some nice fish were caught. Um, Kenny caught a seven pounder last night. Other than that, we didn't place, but it was still fun. So we'll see you guys later. Keep on naturing and get out there and do some fishing.